Gemini. Mm-mm. Gemini. Mm-mm. Gemini. Mm-mm. Hey, Gemini, welcome to your reading. This is for Gemini, Sun, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind, this is a general reading, honeys, okay? Make sure that you take only what you feel resonates for you, okay? Look, it's the macchiatos, guys, okay? You know how I freaking get down, okay? Um, please be sure to like this video if you feel like it gave you the clarity that you are looking for. All right, let's see what is coming to Gemini in love. What is coming to Gemini in love? Yeah, make the effort. What's coming to Gemini in love? All these dang on cards, all right? What's coming to Gemini in love? Gemini. All right, so you have caution and storm ahead, okay? So let's see what is what this means for you, Gemini, in this situation. What is coming to Gemini in love? What's coming to Gemini in love? Please, Gemini. All right. So, Gemini, you have the Two of Swords reverse, the Seven of Pentacles reverse. What's coming to Gemini in love, please? So, something is coming into your awareness here. Um, there's a need to see the truth in something or someone. Okay. Now this could be about any behavior is something that is causing, you know, problems here. Okay. Any patterns, whatever. Um, the seven of pentacles, you know, some of you could be feeling or thinking that this is, could be a high risk, low reward. Okay. There could be a lack of, you know, optimism, faith, and trust in this situation or this person. All right. What's coming to Gemini and love. You have the Ace of Coins, the Two of Pentacles. What's coming to Gemini in love? Now, you may wonder if you're wasting your time with someone in particular. That's kind of what I'm feeling. Someone's like, am I wasting my time? You know, is this going to bear any fruit? Is the juice worth the squeeze in this situation? Could be done with Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Okay, um, some of you may feel like there's a lot of instability in this situation. There could be something influencing the connection, such as finances, uh, life circumstances, things like that. Okay, what's coming to Gemini in love? Give me one more card. But now it's time to, you know, make a decision, take a judgment here. Um, about what you're gonna do. Let me fix my camera, guys, because I feel like it's too, okay, sorry. I have really bad OCD, guys. I'm sure you guys know that already. I'm sure you guys know, but I gotta fix this camera, sorry. <laughs> All right, that's a little bit better. So yeah, guys, you know, um, I feel like it's already been uh, an uphill battle with this person in the situation. But, you know, someone's kind of reached that point of it's time to put up or shut up here. We know that there's opportunity here. We know that there's potential here. However, you know, maybe you feel as though it's kind of stuck at this phase with this person, you know, of the potential phase. You know, you could be seeing the potential in this person in a situation, okay, which is not bad. But we got to get into reality and see if if it's just potential or, you know, we got to take the, the freak at like face of it value, okay? <laughs> Two of Swords reverse for Gemini. So I feel like you're at this phase, uh, Gemini, to where you're like, you may need to cut this freak off. You're like, should I cut this person off? Should I get this divorce? Should I leave? Should I do this? Uh, some of you, this could be as a result of maybe feeling like there's too much of an imbalance. You know, you feel like you're overextending, you're overgiving. This person's not giving you much to work with. Maybe this freak is breadcrumbing you quite a bit. Okay, um, King of Wands, Leo energy, and the Two of Coins. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, a Leo. Okay, so far I'm also hearing Scorpio. 
But yeah, there's some kind of juggling going on here that's causing a problem. This could be juggling two relationships. This could be uh, finding time between work and, you know, a relationship, love. This could be about long distance, guys. It's a general reading. Anything, you know, could be the case here. All right. We know there's potential. And I think that the feelings here cannot be denied. I think you guys have mutual feelings for each other. But uh, there's definitely something that's making this connection very challenging. Okay. Um, and this could be even something as simple as trust issues. Okay. Um, in this relationship or the connection. Um, there could even be thoughts for those of you who are married, like, should we get a marriage counselor? Should we just try to get some counseling or therapy? Maybe a freak needs therapy, okay? Um, or if this person is involved or whatever, uh, just take it how it resonates. It's not a one shoe fits all type of reading, guys, okay? Whatever you feel your situation is, but moral of the story, it is starting to get very burdensome. It is starting to be something that is causing a lot of problems between you two. Uh, maybe some instability here. So now I feel like someone's at that point. Okay, what should I do? Someone's heavily, heavily conflicted. Really conflicted. But judgment is uh, spirit trying to talk to somebody. Like, hey, look, you know, you got to make up your mind about what you're going to do here. Okay, it's time to take stock of the past, take stock of everything that has occurred here, you know, um, and use your prior wisdom, things that you've already you know, lessons that you've already seen in your past. Is this something that is, you know, does the risk outweigh, does the reward outweigh the risk, okay? I feel like someone has not wanted to act so suddenly or make a decision just yet. Um, judgment for Gemini. You know, there's a lot of fear in making some kind of decision here for sure. I mean, someone's like all up in their head about it. This could be someone that you're just friends with, you're just dating, and maybe you're hoping for more, but maybe this person can't give you more for X, Y, Z reason, okay? Um, so that is what we are seeing here. But I think the feelings that you guys have for each other can't really be denied, but I do think that there's some kind of factor that is causing a problem here, okay? Tell me more for Gemini in love, what is coming. So I feel like it's definitely time to have a, a talk, okay, um, with each other because you could be dealing with someone, um, someone in the situation may not be relationship material, okay, maybe their circumstances, you know, make it hard for them to be stable with you or whatever, um, and you know, there may be some kind of bad news in the situation with regards to readiness, okay, um, but yeah, you're like, look, should I stay or go at this point? <laughs> if you want to know if you should really stay or go, okay, for your specific situation, definitely don't uh, hesitate to go to my website. Click on my link in the description box below. I do offer personal readings and you can click on the should I stay or go reading, okay? Five of Pentacles. Yeah, you know, something is really um, putting a bummer on things. You know, this could even be someone who just has like a plethora of trust issues. They're so caught up in their prior traumas that it just makes it hard to love them. It makes it hard to have a proper relationship. You know, whatever, however you feel like it makes sense for you guys, okay? And I feel like in this situation, what is coming is that, you know, um, even though you guys have this chemistry and you may really love each other, there's a need to basically take stock of what has happened so far are we making progress is this growing are we elevating here you know uh, what's going on here is movement going on you know am i a better person because of this or is it making me you know a, a shell of myself you know what i'm saying so comes down to free will my loves okay but we do have integrity does this situation align with your values or your morals okay we have addiction and addiction is affecting this relationship what does Gemini need to know about this situation? You can be completely open with this person. And you have decision. It's time to decide about this relationship. We also have finances. Financial challenges are affecting this connection. Okay. 
So I'm going to be coming out with memberships very, very soon, my loves. Um, that will help you, you know, um, with some extended readings to decide if, you know, you should keep dealing with a situation or not, okay? All right, Gemini, so you have, it's not you, it's me. We have divorce. Okay, um, it could be a situation to where someone's waiting on the other to get a divorce or waiting on an answer. Are we going to get divorced or do you want to get back together or what? And I hate to say it may be leaning more towards the divorce. Okay, and if you're waiting on someone to get a divorce or leave, um, I feel like it is something that they are going to do. Okay, but I just think that it's still going to take some time here. Okay, but you do have not ready to settle down. Trust issues. Okay. We have let me love you better. Oh, you have hoping you two break up. So someone could be hoping the other person gets a divorce or at least someone. Okay. What else do we have? Nervous to talk to you. You deserve better than me. We have Sagittarius. Okay. Well, that's pretty obvious here. You know, um, that okay, we have abusive. You have still immature. Okay. Living a double life. Taken. Scorpio. Capricorn. Yeah, so what I feel is coming here is that you guys are definitely going, you have waiting for the right moment, insecure, low self-esteem. You, de you guys are definitely going to have a, a conversation, okay? Because the Ace of Swords is here, meaning that clarity is going to happen um, in this situation. You will get answers. And unfortunately, it may not be an answer that someone wants because a page of wands reverse will mean bad news, okay? It's not something that you want to really hear. It's like a buzzkill. Um However, you know, at least the truth will be out there. That way you know how to proceed with this person. Um, anything else important for Gemini to know in this love situation? What is coming? You know, some of you could be dealing with someone who's really, really stubborn in their thinking, in their mindset. And maybe someone just needs to get rid of that toxic mindset that they have in order for this to move forward. But if it doesn't, I cannot come through the screen to make anyone do anything they don't want to do, guys. Um, maybe there's a lot of miscommunications going on here with you and this person. It feels like, you know, you just feel constantly defeated with this freak um, or whatever the case may be. Some of you I'm hearing, maybe the way they do things, the way you see things are just not, are not in alignment with each other. You know, um, maybe your morals, your values, and just little things like that don't line up with each other or your goals in, in, in life, what you want to do. Maybe one of you want to settle down and have a family. Maybe the other doesn't, you know, so it's probably going to be a need to just kind of leave this alone if you guys can't get on the same level, you know, the same page. Okay. So that is what I'm seeing, my loves. Thank you for tuning in. Um, you know what? Let me get my charms. I can pull a little charms for you guys. All right, angels, what... Who is this person for Gemini? Can you give me some clues, please? So we do have a Cancer. We have Scorpio. Yeah, we have all the water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Scorpio twice, Cancer twice. There's a moon here. You have a Sagittarius, the letter M. There's a turtle, R-O-N-A-F-J-X-T. Okay. Oh, I'm hearing someone could be grieving or maybe they lost somebody and maybe now it's not the right time either. There's an angel here. Okay. All right. Thank you, Gemini, for tuning in. Talk to you guys soon.